All these companies here have produced extraordinary returns for Berkshire, and you can see the crazy returns from American Express, Moody, and Coca-Cola. Buffett purchased a stake in American Express in 1963, Moody in 2000, and Coca-Cola in 1988. I think the takeaway from Buffett is you want to buy companies that make more than it spends, buy them at fair value, and hold these companies for decades. What I have here is the 10 largest investments by Buffett and check out my Berkshire video too to learn how the company works and their recent pipeline deal. I'm going to show you how to get an infinite return on your rental property. You're going to find a rental property for $200,000. You're going to get it 20% under value, so you're going to purchase it for $160,000. You're gonna put $40,000 down, and you're gonna have your $40,000 in equity. You're gonna be sitting on $80,000 in equity on that property. After a seasoning period, you're then gonna to go to the bank and refinance. You're gonna pull out your $40,000, and you have none of your own money in the deal. It's gonna give you an infinite return. If you wanna own rental property, hit that plus sign in the corner and comment down below. The best way to get a return, let's just say you have $50,000 in cash. It could be 10, it could be 100. Let's use 50. First thing I would do is pay off all your credit cards because that's costing you 18%. There's more credit card and student loan debt relative to personal income than there's ever been in the history of the United States. Second thing you do is you use the transactional value of cash. A lot of people say, you know, you're losing money to inflation when you just have cash in the bank. Completely disagree. I can, you know, I know I'm gonna be buying a bunch of soup, toothpaste for my family. I know toilet paper. I know all the consumables that I have. I can take my cash and go go get a better value. I can take my cash and go buy service. store up? Yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, how much space does toothpaste take, you know, but you're gonna spend, <laughs> but that's the whole thing. The time it takes just to figure out your budget, yeah. which nobody does. The time yeah. it takes just to analyze your spending habits, you can get a better return and you'll end up with more cash than trying to fight the, the John Paulsons of the world and these guys who, who have hundreds of analysts who are working for them. Why would you try to do better than them? You can't. And now it's a it's hundred times worse because of all the, the program trading.